Hi, my name is Mike Isber, and I'm the owner of Isber Construction and Landscape, located in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania, just south of Pittsburgh. Our company specializes in exterior drainage solutions. Our goal is to keep water from getting into your house, building your foundation, rather than pumping it out once it's already in. Today, we're gonna to talk about what we like to call Drainage 101, but more specifically, the big four. There are four things that every building or home has to have correct to be able to have a baseline to decide whether or not more extensive drainage improvements are warranted. A lot of the time, four basic improvements, which we call the big four, will be satisfactory to fix a water problem. The four items are gutters, downspouts, drain pipes, and proper slope away from the building. All four of the big four should be tested in a severe storm. Light to moderate rains or running a garden hose will typically not produce enough water to cause failures or overwhelming of the big four. We will look at the big four from the top down. The first item in the big four is gutters. You wanna make sure your gutters adequately collect the water off of the roof and that no water spills over the gutters, particularly in a heavy rainstorm. Gutters come in two basic sizes, five inch and six inch gutters. Most residential homes have five inch gutters and only very large homes and most commercial buildings have six inch gutters. Obviously, six inch gutters flow more water than five inch gutters. We talk to a lot of property owners who have leaf guards, leaf screens, and leaf strainers where the gutters meet the downspouts. We have found that in heavy storms, these items dramatically reduce the gutters' ability to flow large volumes of water, and we do not recommend them. The best way to determine if your gutters are working adequately or not is to view the gutters during a severe storm and see if the water is water falling or spilling over the edges of the gutters. The second big four item is to make sure that water can get out of the gutters quickly during a heavy rainstorm via the downspouts. There are also two different sizes of downspouts. There are two inch by three inch and three inch by four inch. We prefer the larger because the water flows through them better because they're twice as big. Most homes out there have two inch by three inch downspouts and it's fairly standard on a commercial building to have the larger three inch by four inch downspouts. Again, we do not recommend any type of strainer at the top of the downspout where the downspout connects to the gutter. This is a critical area where the water needs to be able to quickly get out of the gutter and into the downspout. Leaves and other debris typically catch on these strainers and create choke points. Another critical downspout check is to make sure there are enough downspouts in each length of gutter. Downspouts can only flow so much water, so longer gutter runs require multiple downspouts. Once we have all the water through the gutters and down the downspouts, we wanna make sure that the drain pipe at the bottom of the downspout is properly flowing away from the structure. This is the third big four item. We cannot allow the water to dump out of the bottom of the downspout right next to the foundation. We need to make sure that the drain pipe has a large enough diameter to get the water through it. Four inch diameter is minimum. The drain pipe must be solid, not perforated pipe. It must have a clear and unobstructed outlet. The outlets of some drain pipes flow into an underground rock sump or dry well full of rocks. These can become overwhelmed during severe storms and cause the water to back up. The backup can then overflow right where the downspout meets the pipe, typically right next to the foundation. It's important that the pipes are not collapsed, separated, or deteriorated underground. Many old terracotta, corrugated, or light duty pipes perform very poorly over the years while underground and cause the flow of water through them to be restricted in severe storms. The restrictions reduce the amount of water that can flow through them, also causing the pipes to back up. If you're not sure if your pipes are working, we can provide a camera inspection of the inside of the pipes to determine their condition. The fourth of the big four items that we want to look at is proper slope away from the building or house. Minimum residential building code says that the first 10 feet of land next to a structure should drop away by six inches. That of course is minimum code. Ideally, we would like to see the ground drop away more than that over a distance of 10 feet or 20 feet next to the structure. Not all lots in topography will allow this, but this is what we strive for. In summary, if you don't have all four of the big four items working properly, you can't know if you need more involved drainage improvements such as a French drain, a swale, or catch basin to fix your problem. Many of the clients we work for go straight to these types of improvements, but we want to guide our clients to make sure that the big four are working properly before we do. A large percentage of the time, simply fixing the big four will fix their problem. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos or visit our website at isbergconstruction.com for more information. Thank you.